First thing first, you go to resources here and you click on youth. And that'll take you to the Come Follow Me page. There's quite a few places to find videos. There's actually a section here that if you click on, it'll take you to a list of, of featured videos. Um, but up here, um, if you go to the Come Follow Me curriculum, again, there's videos here. But actually, within each lesson or topic material, if I go to, say, this January's topic material, and I scroll down, and I'm just going to pick the first one, if I scroll down this list, you'll see that it, it sometimes gives you a video link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on He Knows Me, and it will display it here on the page. And if you have, you know, a wireless plan or a... a internet plan on your device that's one thing but if you want to download this and then show it um, on your iPad it can be a little tricky so I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna show you now what you can do so what I would do is I click on download because this is gonna be shown after it's downloaded there's no need reason to pick the smaller medium the K here is not the size of the video it's not a 1000 kilobyte video that's the bandwidth that it takes. So that's like how much, how fast of an internet connection you're going to need. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick the large one because I'm going to download it and show it and that way I get the best quality. So I'll click that and it shows here it started downloading. I'll come back in a second after it's downloaded. Okay, it's just about finished downloading and on the Mac there's this a special folder called downloads. I'm going to go to wherever you you download it and it's going to open it here so you can check to see that it's downloaded. Hey, yeah, there's our video. I'm going to open up the location where I downloaded on my computer which on this computer it's in a folder called downloads. I actually downloaded a few of these. This one is the one we downloaded a 1300K, but it's only 21.1 .1 megabytes, so it's really not that big. Um, I downloaded a few different ones there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a, a great service called Dropbox. I'm going to put it in my Dropbox, and then what I can do on my iPad is I can download it using a, the Dropbox app. And you can also do this with um, Android devices as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open my Dropbox folder. Mine's full of all kinds of stuff because I use it quite a bit for lots of things. So I'm going to find my church folder. <clears throat> and then I'm going to drag that file into my folder. Oops. And you'll see it, it's right there. And now what's going to happen, you'll notice up here that you start seeing this in this icon and on a Windows computer you'll see it down in the lower right corner. You'll see that it's actually uploading that to my Dropbox space. So if I look in here, um, once that's done that means that it's finished uploading. What Dropbox does is it gives you free space on the internet that you have to log into um, for storing materials, just like having a a little uh, flash drive that you can copy stuff to, except for this is like having a flash drive that's out in the cloud. Um, and only you can get to the files because it requires uh, a name and a password, and I'll leave a link to that on the page where this video is, so if you want to sign up for it, if you don't use it. So I'll come back here in a minute once that's loaded. Okay, it's done downloading. You can tell because now there's a green check mark next to the Dropbox icon. Now, if I wanted to, I could sign in to the Dropbox um, website and find it. And you see, there it is on the website. But what I want to do is get in on a tablet. So I'm going to go to the tablet now and open the Dropbox app that comes with the tablet. Okay, if you don't already have this app, you can get it here at the App Store. And then you just launch it from your screen, main screen, wherever you save it. And then what it's going to do, it's going to show you that list of uh, files and folders that you have 
on your Mac or PC and it's going to be in that left column so you scroll down to find it in my case mine it's called church it's in a folder so I'm going to open that up tap it and then there's the video that I just downloaded so I'm going to tap on that it will show up in the right column and then what I want to do is go up in the right corner and click the favorite star and what that does is it adds it to my list of favorites and if I go to that list you'll see now here it's downloading because it's a favorite so favorites download in Dropbox and once that's done I can click play even when I'm somewhere without Wi-Fi like maybe your church building and I can click that left carrot or that left to play it full screen so that way you can have a video that you've downloaded from the website and be able to play it somewhere where you don't have Wi-Fi